Good evening. This is Brent, and it is my turn to go ahead and talk to you guys for this week's Night of Devotion series. Surprised? Cause I missed you. Anyway, uh, yeah. For anything else, I want to give a huge shout out to all of our fathers. I understand we just celebrated Father's Day yesterday. Belated Happy Father's Day to each and every one of you, good men, and husbands, and fathers out there. We are so thankful. For your service, we are so thankful for all the help and all the love that you give us. And even though we don't see it coming from you guys, we know for a fact that you guys love us. Thank you, fathers, and happy, happy Father's Day. Also, want to go ahead and give a thank you to Dana. Thank you so much for leading us in worship today. Um, just keep it up, and uh, just keep on overflowing as we always do in the Aces, huh? All right. So let's go ahead and just jump into the Word today. Let me go ahead and just read it out from 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 37. It's right here. Okay. Moreover, David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the Lord of this Philistine. I'm sorry. He will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. Let me read that again. I'm sorry. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 37. Moreover, David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. Now, friends, 
course, we're we're uh, we're coming from Father's Day here, and I have a message not only for fathers, but actually, really, just for all of us. You know, I want us all to go ahead and just follow. I don't really say this a lot, but um, we would do well to look at the example of David here, because one thing that David said here was he was testifying in front of no less than, than the king of Israel at the time. And what was he saying? He was saying that the Lord rescued him from the bear and the Lord rescued him from the lion. In, in, in a way, he went ahead and owned the faith, faithfulness of God by saying his own experiences in the matter. I would like all of us, fathers or not, man, male and female, wherever we are in the faith, for us to just own this faithfulness of God for ourselves. So let me go ahead and just give my dad as an example because we're still celebrating Father's Day here. I know for a fact that my dad has been through a lot and no less, no less than the creator of the, of the universe has been certainly been faithful to him. He always tells me about this story about how he was, I don't know, in a military operation or something like that. And um, they were being attacked by all sorts of rebels from both sides of the road. They were in a convoy. So they were going down the road and um, they were being attacked. You know, guerrilla, guerrilla tactics, you know, you, you attack from both sides from an angle so you guys don't shoot each other. But you have one center target which is on the road. Now my dad, uh, what happened to him was, this, is, this was during those times that he, he would rely on the... Uh, on the 50 caliber gun which was on their on their under what well it was one of the on one of the cars of their convoys and uh it suddenly didn't work at one time i will never stop saying this story because he was so he was so passionate about sharing this story that was one time that he went ahead and found himself praying and what he prayed for was he was not praying lord save me Lord, um, deliver my soldiers away from evil, or Lord, vanquish the enemy, or anything like that. No, he was pretty, pretty straightforward in his request, and he was just saying, Lord, could you please just let that 50 caliber gun start working? <laughs> and lo and behold, you know, as soon as he said amen, he suddenly heard the burst of 50 caliber just roaring into the trees, and my word, I don't know. I've never heard 50 cali caliber for myself in real life. I probably heard it in Call of Duty or wherever. But I'm pretty sure it sounds pretty intimidating. And it was enough to intimidate all these, uh, all these rebels who were attacking them. And they all ran away. Sounds like something in a movie, right? But it's true. And that was just one of so many other stories that my dad had in his 70... 70? 60? 70. 70 years of life. I, have to, I had to count. You see, the Lord's been faithful to me as well as I've been counting about uh, counting the age of my dad. But that's just one story out of many. I can go. I can certainly go ahead and own it right here, right now. Because look, you know, I've I've been coming from a downtrend of th really bad things happening in my life. Or if it's not that, it's just more of like things that have been happening to me or things that I wanted to happen that haven't really been going the way I've wanted them to. But in the midst of all this, I certainly can own the faithfulness of God by saying that He continues to be faithful to me right here, right now, even as I'm talking to you. Boom! And if there's anyone right now, I just want to go ahead and say this. The Lord is with you. You know? He is full of grace and the Lord is with you. <laughs> the thing is, we like to go ahead and equal our efforts or equal our um, our good times and our bad times and equate those things to uh, you know the Lord's faithfulness to us and there's nothing wrong with that but might I go ahead and add just one more thing here because I feel someone needs to hear this tonight myself included if you are being bogged down and feel you feel really bad about you know if you're feeling all of the consequences of all the actions that you've been going, that you've been doing, all, all the wrong decisions that you've been making ever since time, the, the beginning of time and all that, well, guess what? The Lord just continues to be faithful to you even during those, these times. 
Do you feel me? Because all I'm saying is that even if it was of your own doing that you are in the darkness and in the valley that you are right now, guess what? The Lord continues to be there with you. How do I know this? Because we know for a fact that the Lord Jesus Christ paid such a great and beautiful price in order for Him to be with us in the top of the mountain and in the bottom of the valley, whether it be of our doing or not. Take that in. And that's, let's, let, yeah, that's, let, let's go ahead and start the week just like that, huh? The Lord is with you and He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. How do I know this? Because of the Lord Jesus Christ who paid such a huge price for you, for me, for all of us who believe. The Lord has been faithful to me. I mean, I, I didn't attack any bears or lions or anything like that, but the Lord has been with me back in the past in all of my mistakes in all of the people I've ghosted and all of the people I've been who have ghosted me yes that's such a big thing the, and the Lord just continues to be with me and I cannot I cannot I cannot deny testifying about His faithfulness right now what an explosive Monday anyway I mean I hope I hope you weren't put off by anything that I said I hope to see you guys tomorrow um, and I pray that, you know, you guys have a really good week ahead. I hope your Monday was good, but I hope that your Monday, I mean, I hope that the rest of the week is a good week for you guys. Hope to talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for your time. We love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.